Друзья, всем привет, это канал Криптонет. Привет, Криптоламер. Вадим, привет, друзья, здравствуйте. Мы сегодня проводим АМО-сессию с доктором Нгуэном, который представляет проект Global Human Trust. И мы это делаем при поддержке биржи Bbox, которая выставляет листинг данного токена GHT в ближайшее время. Нам доктор Нгуэн обещал рассказать про свой проект. Это верифицирование отношений людей. И вот то, что мы сейчас пока ходим куда-то к нотариусу, мы аудиторам и прочие очереди отстаиваем. Потом все это будет на блокчейне. Доктор Нгуэн работает в Новой Зеландии. Много у него партнеров. Вот все это обсудим. И в конце видео мы обсудим с криптолаймером то, что мы услышали, как-то попытаемся сделать некий анализ и расскажем вам про две акции, которые можно сейчас на бирже Bbox пройти, поучаствовать и получить возможность выиграть призы. Да, совместно с проектом GHT. Я хотел добавить спасибо, сказать команде Bbox Russia и бирже Bbox, которые поддержали организацию данного АМА и помогли нам, значит, совместить наше время с проектом, чтобы, в общем, донести нужную информацию вам. Хочу напомнить, что биржа Бибокс – одна из старейших бирж на криптовалютном рынке, которая еще ни разу не подвергалась взломам, в частности, и находится в топ-5 по объемам. Все необходимые ссылки на Бибокс, если вы хотите поддержать биржу нас и канал Криптонет, будут в описании. Спасибо бирже Бибокс еще раз. И переходим к доктору Гуэну. Hello, viewers of the CryptoNet. We are we're really, really appreciate uh, that you are here at the moment. So this is EMA session uh, with GHT team, uh, with um, Dr. Dr. Nguyen, CEO and founder of the project, and uh, really who is supporting him at the moment. Um, uh, we really want to thank uh, Bbox team for support and organization of this EMA session. Bbox Exchange is one of the oldest exchanges in the crypto space so with the huge volumes, uh, top five of the uh, volume rating and uh, with uh, low fees and uh, other different kind of stuff. Uh, and you can check all the links uh, down in the description to, uh, uh, to <clears throat> uh, which we will provide to you. Uh, and uh, uh, you can support uh, us and Bbox Exchange too. Thank you, uh, Bbox team, for supporting us at the moment. So, uh, hello to all of the participants. Hello, Vadim. Hey. Uh, hello, uh, hello, Dr. Nguyen. Uh, we are really, uh, really great to see you here. Thank you for your time. Yeah, hello. Thank you for your time, really. Uh, so, uh, we will... Um, Uh, firstly, we will ask you some uh, questions from us, and then uh, we will switch for the questions from our community. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you here, Lime, Vaitim, and uh, really, my pleasure. Yeah. Okay. You're very so, busy now, I think, uh, before the listing, before the so many yeah, yeah, plans yeah. for your roadmap. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Can you briefly introduce yourself, uh, Doc, please? What is uh, DHT? Yeah, 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 because uh, the yeah. project is uh, not so well known in here in Russia, so we would like to hear more about the project, about yourself, about, let's briefly introduce yourself and the project. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, um, uh, first of all, uh, uh, I would like to thank you for uh, B-Port, especially uh, b -Port in the Russia for around this uh, AMAs. Um, a lot of questions come to me, what is the global human trust? And uh, at first, first of all, I would like to say that uh, normally the, the, we need to look back a little bit into uh, 2010, when uh, my research group and I started building the so-called human resource information system trust model uh, with the support and uh, advices from Professor Sunan Sian Tai and uh, uh, from Asian Institute of Technology. Professor Stick Page from uh, Chester University, UK. So it is our, our argument that trust is very important in our stages of technology management uh, for human resource management efficiency and effectiveness to imp improve organizational performance as well as individual uh, ability. Uh, we therefore you know, propose the concept of the so-called model Uh, of the HIA trust in order to verify the trust between the people and people and the trust people and, and system. 
Then in uh, 2015, uh, we deployed a so-called NetG HIM. It means that Net Generation HIM, a platform for HIM cloud. For cloud is popular now. First, at that time, we we apply a kind of use on the centralized, you know, database, but use the cloud. It saves a, a lot of servers, everything for the small enterprise. Uh, they could use the SIM cloud. And together uh, with the professor John Lawler from University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, we continue to develop global human trust, GST analysis for a kind of trust verification by applying the blockchain technology into a platform for a transparency. And uh, at that time, we also think about the recruit change. This means that at first point, we start with a small step that if we think about the re recruitment, the right people and put them in the right position in the right way, that is the first step we start uh, uh, with our system. So after 10 years in a row from a proposed model of HIA Trust, we now have a more useful and helpful NetGSM. Uh, of course, in terms of the technology, uh, we could say that is a centralized system. But uh, you could see that the it have a lot of good things for the decentralized system. So uh, together with me, our tech team from many uh, research group, that is our strength. We can connect with the uh, many reputable research uh, labs and research group uh, on over the world to come together to advise us, to work with us, to create the, the our mission to create the GSD uh, verification. It means that the Verify, verify the trust between the people and people and people and system, but we still keep the privacy of the people. That is the, the more challenge, the challenge, but we we on the way to do that. And uh, uh, that is a little bit the uh, brief uh, about our uh, research and research outcome turned into real life. First of all, after five years from 2010 and 2015, we turned into the so-called NetGSM. And, 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 and then we continue to develop but from 2015, 2019, and now 2020, we continue to build up the so-called HR, uh, HR blockchain and also the uh, GST verification. So why, why we, we think about, we apply, when we, we apply the blockchain into our system, that we think about, of course, we do some like application layer, we do some, you know, D apps, something like that. And uh, we also think about, okay, why we don't use, make a quick, you know, the, 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 the end user, the end we would like to support for the end user to bring the ethic value for the end user of the system. quicker. So our team, with our team research and also uh, with the, the trend, the development of the uh, blockchain, uh, we select to apply first of all with the ERC20 token first. Why? Because we, we do believe that uh, currently uh, we, we try the first step, but we want it slowly but surely. So we select the uh, Ethereum uh, you know, uh, blockchain. And uh, with the, that's the reason why ERC20 token was born. And uh, that is uh, an integral part of BTS group based in New Zealand. Because currently, last September 2019, uh, New Zealand, the first country on, uh, in the world, they accept some, you know, uh, support some uh, legislation in, in terms of the cryptocurrency, as you may know, that is uh, a lot of, uh, you know, article and announcement from there. And uh, uh, GST tokens, uh, therefore, we build on the Ethereum blockchain platform and currently we use in Solidity as smart contract development language. And uh, the, the people we say why we use the GRT, yeah, because of, we focus on liquidity, equilibrium, financial stability, and first crypto in New Zealand based on its legislation. And we also use it like a gas in our system to okay. support for the, the, yeah, the end user. We focus on end user. If mm -hmm. we could bring the value for the end user, and, and, and it's, it, it's will help a lot of things. So, uh, and also we, you know, why, why our system uh, uh, look for the currently we have a system net GSM and then 
We also build up the HR blockchain, integrate, you know, HR blockchain in our current uh, NetGE Net HIM. Currently, we have the user also use our system as well. Um, and we also need to have the big picture in the future. For example, what the people will ask us, what you do to verify the trust between the people and people and also the people and system. Here is the example, very basic example from us first. For example, I would like why we start with the, the recruitment chain first. Because when the re re recruiter, the, the one recruits, one the new potential employee come to work with them, they need to know exactly who they are, what they are working for. So many things they need to do. Of course, a lot of pet hunters and a lot of, you know, a company, a human resource company to deliver a lot of things. But our approach, for example, in this, in this functionality is like this. For example, we also need to have the consensus of, of their friend, everything, you know. And we, we, we also apply, uh, also think about apply um, to follow like a, in Europe, we follow the GDPR of the, the European uh, reg, revolution, revolution, something like that as well. So quite a lot of things we continue to develop, not only the tech, but also the uh, legislation. We need to take it into the serious account uh, to yeah. develop and bring it to the, 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 the good thing to the, the, the society. And uh, for example, we also think we continue to develop the uh, inter-research inter labs. For example, currently uh, last May 8th, uh, 2020, we have set up the uh, human system integration technology lab uh, where we put a lot of uh, link many research labs together to continue to build up uh, our trust verification. Uh, and you could see the trust uh, and uh, based on that, we also currently you can see the one of the, the, the weakness of the Ethereum that either, you know, if we have a million or billion uh, user and user come into our system at the same time, if we rely on the Ethereum, it also the big thing about the, 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 the performance, you know, that, that is the, the, yeah, the, yeah. the current I'm, thing. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry for interrupting you, Dr. Nguyen. Yeah, we will discuss yeah. everything. Yeah, uh, I just want mm. to focus your, your, thank you for your detailed answer. Thank you very yeah. much. But I yeah. would just want to focus on some moments a little bit uh, uh, yeah. closer. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for introduction. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I just want to yeah. um, uh, share this your uh, detailed answer into some parts, which will be uh, more focused on some different areas of the project. Firstly, I would like to ask yeah. about yeah. Uh, the development process uh, of the project. What What's the highlights points? What, what 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 things are ready at the moment? What are you going to do in the future, and so on. Uh, yeah, and uh, I mentioned currently we continue to develop the NetG mm -hmm. uh and apply the uh, HR blockchain and uh, you continue to develop recruitment chain. Um, and in the future, we uh, also continue to build up uh, the, the GST verification, the trust verification between the people and people and also the people and system that is on, on the way to come. And uh, uh, in the future, we also, our team also uh, currently also uh, working on uh, develop our GST native blockchain as well, uh, uh, you know, to, to have mm -hmm. to support for our, fully support for our, the, the, the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a huge and a big challenge for you. What is your background? What is DTS group? What did you do before? Uh, um, my background, I also uh, uh, apply the, the I, I use it as also the software engineering and also I apply uh, also the, I also study a, a stock analysis and I apply on the time I apply the, the, the technology in the financial market and also the edutech up, up to now. And uh, our team is the multidisciplinary researchers. They come from different backgrounds together to build up this uh, system. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, you told uh, uh, that uh, next GHRM, uh, this is your key product of uh, DTS. Uh, can you hear us? Okay. Yes, yeah. yes, I hear you well. 
yeah so what is the next gm uh next g h r m exactly uh, uh tell us about your product yeah. more, a little bit more uh, yeah and uh, next year in 2015 we uh, tried to build up the next year cloud we uh, applied to uh, uh we also give the service to the recruitment uh, companies and or any large company as well to manage the payroll. You can imagine, for example, the big company, they have the a thousand or hundred thousand, you know, the the uh, employee and worker uh, with their the payroll situation is the 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 also the big big issue there. So we also try to do this system and uh, for the company to give our system first of all to manage the payroll and uh, uh, also all the perspective of the SIM. And uh, uh, currently, we also improved by the SR blockchain uh, to manage about the uh, SR actual application process and uh, so many more perspectives of the, the SR blockchain. Mm. Yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah. Uh, could you tell us, please, who are the target customers of DTS Group? Uh, uh, currently, you know, Uh, currently, we also have uh, the, the the large companies. They also use our system. Uh, you can s take a look about the NetGSM. We also have uh, several the, the 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 company also using our system. They also do some like uh, the HR services outsourcing for the large company as well. In terms of the uh, SR acquisition, you know, trend and development, how to manage that process as well, and. Um, Uh, that that currently that is our uh, current user, but in the near future, we also do more more than that. Not only support for the uh, uh, SR recruiter and, and uh, headhunter, but also for uh, individual uh, person to manage their performance as well. That is the the current the current um, uh, net GSM. And uh, the next step, uh, if we apply more about the SR blockchain in certification, SR payroll application, and SR blockchain in digital process management, we will serve more companies worldwide. And especially for the GSD verification, our ambition to, to use this, to, to give the ethic value to everyone in the world for, for multi purposes. Mm. To make yeah, to make it more transparent as well and firm. Yeah, we see. Uh, yeah, huge, huge plans, huge plans. Um, uh, I would like to talk about token uh, a little bit yeah. more about GHT token, uh, which is uh, your uh, as you told us is a uh, payment uh, token and uh, as a gas in your in the future uh, blockchain of yours. So I would like to uh, ask you about uh, actual use cases of GHT uh, among this. Uh, what are the current use cases and uh, the future use cases for the token? Why do you need a token? Yes, I, I mentioned both. Uh, when we apply the blockchain, we, we try to use uh, Uh, app, we, we try to, to apply for the five typical user cases. And uh, uh, currently we focus on uh, four uh, use cases. First of all, you know, the people can use our GST token, you know, to do the, 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 the uh, our uh, HIM uh, blockchain platform. And also uh, can do for uh, our services and, and, and product. You know, when they buy, they, they have uh, some transaction happen. Uh, it's a, a gas of the system. And uh, also, we also, you know, because the researchers, some, a lot of researchers as well to work on our, on our system to build up, continue to build up the, the GST native blockchain as well. So we need to use this like uh, the rewards, the bonuses and incentives uh, uh, for, for, for our research team as well, right? And, and in the future, they can use GIT for, you know, the gas for your, uh, for their, for, for their purpose of using our service, services. And uh, in the future, very much important, really focus on currently of our research uh, team as well. That is a verified trust. So um, everyone can verify the trust. 
for example, uh, for example, very uh, basics now, uh, how to verify that person could go to several country, right? And uh, we need to have a consensus system to verify that person, but uh, and also at the same time to keep the privacy for for that person as well. That quite a lot of work there, and GFT token will plays you know a, a role like the gas of that transaction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I heard that you told about uh, your plans moving to your native blockchain. Can yeah. you share more details about roadmap? And because now you have uh, only ERC twenty token, and what will be the difference when, after you will move to the native blockchain? What yeah, and what's your opinion about the Ethereum problems at the moment? So why did you decide to move to your native blockchain in the future? Yeah, yeah. Yes, hear me well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we are, are we about um, are we 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 are about to build up an, an GIT native blockchain uh, for upcoming uh, eighteen months to the end of twenty twenty one. The reason why because uh, we also look forward um, not only as you know the the problem of the D app long time ago you say some sample of the game. The D app, if they based on some sample uh, blockchains, they you know they have uh, some limitation, and uh, we don't uh, our research team and also think about how to build up our blockchains with some attribute and with some characters to help our D app when our D app run on our GST native blockchain is smoothly. That is mm -hmm. very much important. That. When you verify 100, uh, 1,000 people, it a little bit have the problem now. But if you verify 100 million or billion people with the, the decentralized system now, that also the thing. So we, we uh, our research team currently uh, uh, on the way to build up our GAT native blockchain uh, to, aim to, uh, to aim to serve on our D apps. You know, on our old G GIT native system first. Yeah. Cool that you have so ambitious team. With, uh, yeah, the, your researchers decide to build your own blockchain to overtake uh, yeah. Ethereum. That's cool. We will watch yeah. properly. Yeah. Right. That's right. Your target points. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, <laughs> because the thing is, our that the reason why we try to set up more research labs. Like I mentioned about, we, we already built currently, we built up the WUSI Tech Labs mm -hmm. and continue, we connect more university because that is my strength and our research team strength. We have a good connection with the university innovation centers, uh, research lab at the university, because we do believe that uh, we could not do along without the research lab at home to build up the so-called global, that is the name of the global, global human trust. It's not only in the near future, it's not only belong to us, but it's belong to the world. That, that to, to bring the G to the world, and that will belong to the world at the end. Yeah. And, yeah. and many research lab, many researchers for, uh, from the, 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 the research lab, and even from the real life, they can contribute back to, to, to our interdisciplinary research labs together to continue to improve our GSD uh, system. That that our vision. Yeah. Yeah, very, very good purpose, I think. Yeah, because, uh, uh, you know, we need to have a version one and we have a version two and many more versions. But yeah. uh, we do believe that that is not, in terms of the technology, it changed very quick. So mm -hmm. we could not do our, our own, our company along, but the thing is, our our, our strategy on the tie to rely on the university. So most of my product, you know, spin off, most of them, all of them currently only from the the research lab. Yeah, that that's the way we are doing. We don't set up the company, and also create any service and service and product. Instead of that, we from our research lab, 
and we try to do the demo and so many things, so many try and errors, and we, we try it into the real life. Mm. A, a kind of spin off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. So this is uh, was, uh, I think, the last. Vadim, do you have any questions more? Yeah, I'm fine. What I want yeah, to tell okay. you, you don't have only strong, strong connection with the researchers and the universities. Also, you have strong connection with Bbox uh, community, yeah. and we have a huge yeah. amount of questions from them. So yeah, we're, yeah. We're... Uh, but the, the one more thing I would like to to share with with you that um, uh, our uh, our GSC, uh, our GTI group, and also GSC all the way keep everyone updated on our website like a, a monthly or, e or even weekly or even daily with the, the real and official uh, information and everything. And uh, for example, you know, in, in terms of the question here, I think that's important because I saw your question, how to use the GIT, how to mine the GIT. I, I, could, I would like to say, to say now for, for our researchers, that is the, how they can mine the, 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 our GST now because they mm -hmm. can, have some incentive and bonus and everything like that. But um, uh, even the, the GST Foundation, we could not, we never, you know, give a, in a circulate our GST in that way. For example, we have a 20% of the 50 million, right? That is used for the foundation. It means that we need to have the plan for five years or 10 years to do that. And we need to, to give a very firm plan to the world that, okay, we set up the WUSI Tech Lab. At the same time, we, we need to come more on the research fund. Like a, currently, we have a Horizon 2020. We, we used to have a, that research fund as well, 1.6 million US dollars on our Seer Tech uh, Institute. But it's not enough if we can do more. So if like that, we need to plan to con more researchers if they come to our research lab as well. So they can get the the the, the, the the, the, the rewards and bonus more to encourage them to work to work within the innovation. So like a, we need to inform like a three month or six month or even a year in advance that we will use that fund for what purpose. And, and everyone in the world will look what we are doing because we want to bring it to the world. Not, um, not at first we don't think about the token, but it token is good for the gas of mm -hmm. the system. That is the purpose. And, and the, some people say about digital assets, I mean, of course, it, it itself can have an intrinsic value. A mm -hmm. lot of the friends, a lot of people more will come with us and help us. And mm -hmm. it belongs to, to, to every single researcher as well who share the same vision. So foundation, foundation of the GSC also have the plan to you at least three months, six months, or 12 months in advance. And that is the real thing will come into the real life as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, Another thing like a reserve, why we have a, a little bit more about the reserve. The reserve has been that it certainly you can see that like a July, maybe Ethereum have the version two. That's good mm -hmm. for Vitalik announcement. Maybe July, we have the two layers. It's made the transaction quicker and everything, right? For something mm -hmm. like that. That also, that factor also affect to our research, current research work as well. So at that time, we need more people to, to delve inside the research, whether or not we need to apply more techno another technology or check another the model uh, to keep follow with the the, the 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 technology development. At that time, how how much how many percent of reserve uh, GIT reserve we need to, to use? For example, uh, five percent of that reserves for what purpose and when we could use? So reserve a kind of like a backup, like a for like con contingencies. Something new idea just happened. The world we don't know, but we need to keep up with the time. We, we, so at that time, we, we don't have the plan for the foundation. We don't have the plan for the, the research fund come. So we need to use the reserve a little bit. It, that means that the intrinsic value of the GIT is very important for us. Yeah. Yeah. Thank um, you. Thank you. That's that, that very the key point. And currently yeah. the circulating of the GIT on the time we, we follow the roadmap and we also keep updates, every update, single update on our website as well. And in yeah. the near future, five years or 10 years, because I saw the question and it's very quick, we update there and, and until the point GST will become the global project. 
some people say uh, we are we have a very very amazing ambition or something but we say that even we have the big dream but we start very single small step and we need to connect more researchers and more people come to work with us and to make the GST verification one of the good one in uh, the 21st century that is our main purpose that is the worst even the worst for me to to do mm -hmm. yeah that's very like, important right yeah i would like to add that all the necessary links will be in the description of this video and the link to your website yeah. too um so let, let's start with the community questions we asked our community and the bbox community to share their questions with us and we choose uh, together we choose uh, five best questions uh, yeah. so yeah let's uh, let's answer them <clears throat> yeah doctor yeah. you asked about participants we already have one uh, yeah. guy with yeah. nick Wovka bro is asking how he can uh, participate how he can get your tokens and uh, or, or he only have option to buy on an exchange yeah. what can he do for you one yeah and how can yeah. you get your tokens yeah. except the exchange yeah, yeah. Uh, as i mentioned uh, uh, about uh, when answered the bboss question thanks for community to have the concern uh, and interest uh, in our gst project so uh, uh, in terms of uh, the, the gst token currently is uh, very rare, just only 2.5 million, it means that 5% of the total uh, the, uh, issue uh, currently. And we have uh, the GIT Foundation, GIT Reserve, GIT Bonnet and Incentive for the researchers. When they're working, we also have uh, the plan to use. Uh, and on the time we update, keep update every time we use the fund on uh, our website. And especially for the private sale, we already done with the, the, the IEO. But uh, the thing is, uh, we do private sale 2.5 million, but most of uh, our core team, they will, uh, you know, they really believe in uh, our vision. So uh, currently, uh, we are listed, uh, we, we listed on the Kyber network on uh, uh, May, uh, 5th May 2020, and uh, you can find uh, at the decent decentralized exchange. So some of, um, you know, my... My friend, for example, they say, okay, they want to have the GIT. Uh, last few weeks, they also go to a uh, Kyber swap or something like to, 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 to have uh, our GIT. And uh, that is our great honor and pleasure. Uh, GST could be uh, listed on the BBOS and main board. So uh, on the, 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 the people also uh, have uh, the interest, interest in our GIT could, could you know, have the, the, the GST on the BBOS. Currently, for the decentralized exchange, we go with Kyber. Why Kyber? Because we do believe about the, their qualification and repu reputation of the Kyber network. And why a centralized exchange? We need to have only one, currently only one decentralized is the Kyber network and uh, another one centralized uh, uh, exchange. We're lucky to go with the, the BBOS. We also, you know, uh, but through of the legal opinion, everything with uh, BPOT as well. I think that is a very rigor uh, rigorous uh, review system as well. And um, uh, that, that my question. And uh, all you are, or you can become our researchers mm -hmm. <laughs> to contribute to 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 the innovation of the GSD verification and the uh, some, you know, DR. Uh, uh, of our system, you can get the bonus and, and incentives. And, 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 and wait until uh, maybe 18 months or something. Um, we, we uh, about our plan around 18 months, we will have the GST native blockchain. At that time, uh, we guarantee that one GST token ERC20 will you know, convert into pair one one with GST native blockchain. And at that time, if you know, we, we create the con con consensus system, the blockchain, right? Send you with the our system installed into uh, your system. If you can support to build up the node, something like that, you can get the rewards of the GFT blockchain, GFT at that time. But currently, uh, only one way you could find it on the BBOS, the, <laughs> the easy way, and also the Kyber swap, uh, mm -hmm. decentralized, that only two channels only. And uh, all, all the very special 
channel and we would like to welcome you to come to help us first. Yeah. More researchers share the same vision, please come with us. Uh, we also um, try to con more research fund, not only on the crypto and also come to us. And uh, we also have uh, some incentive and bonus by GIT that is another part to encourage the people to work towards that, to keep mm -hmm. digital asset for what they do in the future, to bring the benefit for the, the end user. Yeah, hope this helps. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so uh, about uh, one more question from um, Anabet13, uh, Telegram nickname. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. He or she, I don't know actually. Uh, 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 he asks about commissions for transfers. How the commissions for transfers be regulated in the future if the value of the GHT token uh, increased significantly? Yeah, um, I would like to to say like this. Uh, I I would like to say like a current uh, in the future, right? In the currently, uh, we don't mention any about the commission. We mentioned about it, the, the, the belief in the development of the, the, the GST project and uh, looking for the near future more if we, uh, uh, when we finish to build up the first version of the GST uh, native blockchain. At that time, we will have uh, the criteria and everything more, you know, the rewards when they create out the, the note, GST uh, blockchain note, we will have uh, the, the whole picture and criteria for that. And we will keep uh, our communities updated. Thank you very much for the very great question. Yeah. Do you want to ask the next one? Okay. Um, from Abisola1, um, uh, he asking about uh, next uh, GHRM uh, platform and uh, he asked, "What is uh, what is your greatest competitive advantage? About what uh, tell us about advantages of using this platform and so on?" Yeah, um, uh, I think in terms of the feature uh, of the system, it has uh, some key feature as well. But like I mentioned, um, at at the end, uh, our process at the end for NetGSM and HR blockchain. Uh, a self-sovereign ID and also the SR blockchain process management also link to the thing is the GST verification. That is that is our ultimate target at the end. And, and at that time it's helpful for everyone, not only the, the companies. The company if we consider that is the you know um, end user for our system as well. Uh, so uh, uh, that also leads to the thing is, uh, I think, like I mentioned, you can uh, view that for, for example, the, the, the trust uh, in terms of uh, value. Uh, we also could not, uh, currently we could not come out if the people with a lot of the, the tech term, fancy term, like uh, the AI, something come to that. But we need the time more to build up our system uh, to have uh, the reliable data, uh, you know, uh, with the uh, furlough the le uh, legislation and uh, also the privacy as well. And uh, at that time, we also can use this for uh, verify. For example, you have uh, the good credit or not. For example, is have uh, the uh, 800 is the highest score or 850 or something like that. But why you have a 500 score? No one knows the reason why, something like that. So we need to verify. Or some people say, you, what university you from? You say, okay, I from the, the Lomonosov University. What, you are saying something like that. Maybe the university will never leak that information to anyone. But we, we can use very basic, like a, your friend, your friend, if we have a conception about your friend or your professor mentioned about you, and we just verify you have, a, for example, the, the, the seven, seven, that is so cool. 700, that is very good score or something like that. Uh, that is a very simple thing about the recruitment chance because we need to know the background, the people, not only whether or not they from good university, they good or not, but, it, but another way also the uh, morality, whether or not they are the good people as well, right? 
three, not only the, 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 the knowledge skill, but also the ability and also the attitudes to work through the work as well. So that is the, we verify the trust. And another very simple thing, and I don't say simple, but it's very difficult as well. Like I, I miss you now today with Vadim today and how to, to have a mechanism to increase the trust between the Vadim and I and how to record it back. And how many times Vadim and I meet to each other, something like that, we need to, to have the mechanism. And every time you do that verification, you need to, to have the gas, that is the GSD. The gas, it makes it quicker, the gas. Utility for end user to make it better. So if, if something like that, the recommendation from Vadim recommend me to Lambda, it's made more reliable then really recommend me to Lama because uh, the, 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 the GST verification, we, we tell that, okay, uh, Vadim have the high, you know, crap, you, um, have the good relationship with, with Dirk based on the GST verification. We just verify based on the score, something like that. It's quite a lot of things. So we, we need to build a, you know, the, 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 the consensus. So that's the reason why we, we really focused on how to build up the criteria uh, before we, we, we support for, for rewards for the people when they together with uh, to build up that system. Yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah, thank thanks. you, Dr. Nguyen. Okay, uh, okay this guy, uh, Arisola, asked two, actually two questions, but you already covered one of them. It was about uh, Ethereum. So let's go to the next one. Crypto mm -hmm. Jay Z, uh, he his concern, he's thinking that uh, governments and enterprises they maybe they're afraid or they are scared from with the new concept of technology like blockchain and digital assets. Did you have any any difficulties uh, when you move to governments and enterprises? Dr. Nguyen? Yeah. Uh, as I, as I mentioned, uh, we are, uh, when we build the, 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 the GST process, it's not, we need to distinguish between the blockchain technology and also the con or the crypto first. And, uh, but when we, we, our team try to apply this, our risk may, it's make it, the gas made the, you know, quicker when you, you, you deal like a digital asset. We, we don't use any, I, we would like to say that with or without currently for the 10 year development, with or without GAT token, our team, our research group, our research team continue to develop our dream, our mission. But with the, with the development of the, 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 the blockchain and also the, 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 the token in, you know, it's made our transaction like the user when they use the gas, I can say it quicker is bring the ethic value for the end user as well. And um, that's the reason why we on the tie to consider to the legislation and uh, uh, to, to, to keep up with the, the, the regulation of uh, any country we were working for. And uh, for the enterprises, uh, may I understand that they, uh, why enterprises use our system, right? Like uh, uh, we mentioned above, like uh, one thing, for example, they want to verify the trust, but in the good way. We need to keep the privacy of the people, something like that, right? So uh, it depends on the purpose of each country, each enterprise, they would like to use our GST verification system. We, we don't ask them to use that, but they can use based on their purpose, but that is a transparent system as well, right? Or even in individual, if they want to have a DAX system, they can use like a Vadim and, and I, the, 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 the example, we can use both, both of us use the GLT verification to verify our relationship in the good way. I can say in the healthy relationship, mm -hmm. right? And we, we focus on the healthy relation. All the time have a good and bad, but uh, we think the GLT verification and to have a the better, bring the, the, the better thing, the more transparency to the world. Yeah. So there's one more question um, from the community, from the uh, Boy Lut, uh, Telegram Nick Boy Lut. 
uh, he's asking about transparency. Yeah, he asked about how do you aim to maintain a transparent relationship between you and your customers uh, while carrying out all your pro all the processes you described to us. Yeah, uh, and I mentioned that the for the the, the uh, blockchain itself, right? Is uh, already we could not change the data. We, we, we could not change the transaction, right? Everything is current. I don't know the future. Some new technology will uh, uh, kind of disrupt the innovation can can make a change. But at currently, and I, I may think next few years, the, if we apply the blockchain like that, it's in, everyone will know that it increased the transparency, right? Because uh, they we use the ledger and everything there, we can keep track of on that. So I think, uh, and uh, Inside, uh, inside the system, we have a many more function, functionality to this code, but it will take more time. But I think itself blockchain technology, if we apply it in the right way, right, the process in the right way already is increase the transparency. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. This was the last question uh, we chose yeah. from the community. Uh, I would like to add that uh, these guys will um, uh, they will get uh, some reward for these questions uh, from the project, from the Bbox team, and from us. Um, uh, we will briefly introduce this in Russian a little bit later. So we really appreciate your time. Uh, thank you for for this. Uh, uh, for this blessed end interview, Th thank you very much. Um, uh, well, we really appreciate this, and uh, I would like to add that uh, not so um, uh, many projects are well known uh, uh, from uh, the region of uh, Vietnam, New Zealand, and Southeast Asia uh, here in Russia, and we are glad to spread some news about them uh, here in Russia. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Nguyen, for your um, yeah. uh, detailed yeah. answers. Yeah, it was very useful for us. Yeah, and uh, the topic of uh, human trust and um, uh, and uh, so, so uh, something like that. Uh, it's very important for humanity. I think that's cool. Thank you. Thank you very much, Spasiber. And please uh, keep. Uh, we will keep you updated on our website every single yeah. step of our development. Thank you very much. And have a good morning there. Thank, thank you. you thank you, really. Thank you. Thank, thank you, love. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. Итак, спасибо большое за внимание к нашей АМО-сессии. Сейчас мы вам расскажем про то, как можно получить дополнительные награды от биржи Vbox и от проекта Global Human Trust. Во-первых, те пять вопросов, которые мы от комьюнити задали, каждый участник получит по 15 долларов в токенах GHT. Поскольку форма уже заполнена, вам ничего делать не надо, просто ждите на свои BBOX аккаунты, согласно вашим UID, ваш реворд. А второе, значит, вы сможете получить дополнительно 5 случайных пользователей отечественного комьюнити получат по 15 долларов в токен GHT. Вам нужно всего лишь ретвитнуть запись данного АМА, которая вот должна выйти 22 числа в канале, в аккаунте Bbox Russia в Твиттере, ссылка будет в описании соответственно, ретвитнуть на свою страничку и принять участие вот в этом рандомном распределении наград. Акции актуальна до 25 числа. Соответственно, и третье. В чате Bbox Russia для отечественного комьюнити будет организована такая вот тоже мини-ама-сессия по итогам данного ама, скорее квиз, где вам будут предлагаться вопросы из данного ама, по информации данного ама, и вы также сможете получить реварды. 10 человек получат по 15 токенов за, ответ, за правильные ответы на вопросы в чате Bbox Russia. Ссылка на чат будет в описании. Я хочу еще дополнительно добавить, чтобы получить награду, также нужно быть подписанным на все социальные сети проекта GHT и проекта, точнее, биржи Bbox, все необходимые ссылки в описании, ну и на Криптонет тоже, соответственно. 
Я тут вижу, что Амо сессия будет на, в канале Bbox на скорость, да, кто первый, кто, те, кто да, первый да, да. ответ получит призы, поэтому времени у вас гуглить не будет, вот хорошо, что вы уже подготовились, запом... запомните. 25, 25 да. числа в 14.00 по Москве, да, я правильно говорю? Все верно. Вот, значит, 25 числа в 14.00 ждем вас на АМА-сессию по итогам данного АМА в чате Бибокса. Ну и чтобы вам было более-менее понятно, мы тут для вас шпаргалку подготовили, чтобы вам легче было. Вот сейчас обсудим по горячим следам все то, что он рассказал нам доктор Нгуэ. Да, ну что, значит, учился он в университете Иллинойса, большой опыт, какие-то связи с компаниями, с университетами, с, на, с научными разработками. Да, с а, MIT, и... в том числе, например, учится, преподает он в университете Хошимина во Вьетнаме, очень много связей у него с Новой Зеландией, в частности, там DTS групп непосредственно создана. Вот, которая является как бы основой для вот этой Global Human Trust Platform. Вот, и, значит, вот они такие все, в научной сфере практически вся команда у них засвечена и работают, и пытаются строить новые отношения и партнерства с университетами глобально по всему миру. Да, и вот и Новая Зеландия, и какие-то enterprise компании сделали такой запрос на рынку, что требуется верификация человеческих отношений. Понятно, что это в первую очередь идет в отрасли HR, а там, где нужно искать сотрудников, чтобы вот было просто и понятно э, определить, какие были у людей отношения, какие были договоры соблюдены, какие нет. Все это положительно блокчейн, вроде как логичная идея. Плюс здесь вводится токен GHT, у которого есть несколько применений как газ для исполнения контрактов и как токен, который бы выплачивался в качестве бонусов или каких-то поощрений за работу HR-менеджеров или за работу сотрудников, много чего. Ну и вот эта самая платформа, которая много раз вспоминалась, NextGHRM, там тоже токен будет участвовать как какое-то... Да, некое платежное средство, в том числе, которое помогает верифицировать вашу значит, личность, верифицировать ваши какие-то отношения с другими людьми, и все это делать с помощью криптографических техник различных. Вот. Стоит сказать, что GHT токен это ERC20 токен на данный момент, да, можете его получить на KyberSwap или в скором времени на Бибоксе. Ну и в качестве такого инициативы для комьюнити, если вы делаете какой-то ресерч, то вот на их платформе вы также сможете получать бонусы в виде GHT токенов за ваши ресерчи и за какие-то вот за какую-то помощь проекту, а можете на их веб-сайте посмотреть более подробную информацию, и у них там в чате, например, поспрашивать, все ссылки еще раз будут в описании. А когда вот. запустится ну, их собственный блокчейн, да. упомянул доктор Нгуэн, что они это собираются делать, можно будет поднимать свои ноды и тоже зарабатывать токены как э, валидатор блокчейна. Да, стоит сказать, что он отметил, что у эфира есть определенные проблемы с масштабируемостью, но вот он очень многого ждет от запуска эфира 2.0. Тем не менее, у них планы переехать на свой собственный блокчейн, потому что вот он считает, что так больше ценности токену придастся. Ну и плюс в том, что как бы со своим блокчейном теплее по жизни. Я хотел добавить, что согласно их родмапу, как он упомянул, если нативный блокчейн разработка все будет хорошо, то это будет середина следующего года, 21 седьмой месяц, это у нас июль, да, он сказал. Да, вообще Ю... родмап начинается с 2015 -го года, с 2015 давно идет mm -hmm. development. Да, да, да. То есть вот сейчас у них идет непосредственно разработка вот этого проекта NextGHRM, то есть непосредственно вот этой облачной платформы и приложения, которое позволит верифицировать отношения между людьми и, значит, взаимодействовать друг с другом, да, при, при этом с помощью, значит, вот JHT токена получать оплату, да, и в частности это поможет всяким там hr нанимать сотрудников и проверять их достоверность, их сведения. Как-то так. Да, все верно. 
Значит, они задействовались на Кайберсвопе, и есть пост, где Кайберсвоп рад, что они у них ну, получили такой листик такого проекта. Теперь вот, значит, ну, вообще логично, да, что проект, который основан на доверии людей, выходит на децентрализованные биржи в первую очередь. Впервые, да. И потом только на централизованные. Вот. Ну что, тогда, наверное, на этом все у нас. Спасибо еще раз Бибоксу за то, что предоставили возможность пообщаться с проектом, обеспечивать листинг, обеспечивать столько инициатив для комьюнити. Спасибо вам всем. До новых встреч. Да, увидимся. Подписывайтесь на канал. Больше амы и инициатив для народа здесь.